Are we getting Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages HD remasters or remakes in the vein of Link's Awakening? That's actually a question that's come across my table very often lately. I think because there seems to be a number of rumors floating out there about what the hell Grezzo is doing. Now, Grezzo made Link's Awakening, and they made it in Unreal Engine 4. So it is possible that Grezzo will be HD remaking Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages in the same engine. It also should be known that just because they're using the same engine doesn't mean the visual style will be exactly the same if they did do it. So if you didn't like the visual style of Link's Awakening, they don't have to reuse that style. But before we talk about more of this, I have to remind you that we are giving away a $99 Nintendo Switch eShop gift card. There is still a little bit of time to enter. You can enter all the way through the end of February. Uh, all you have to do is go to the, down to the description or into the pinned comment. And I wish all of you guys luck. Uh, obviously, once we're done with this giveaway, we'll begin a new one for the month of March. Now, what's interesting about the idea of Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages getting HD remakes is they are some very underappreciated games. Both of them unique in their own sense, both of them combining for a unique ending. I don't want to spoil too much for those who haven't played it, but essentially one of them is heavily focused on, let's just say, uh, puzzles and uh, like dungeon crawling, while the other one is more heavily focused on combat and boss fights, which again is a form of combat. And they basically take the best aspects of Zelda and split them between two games and create two entirely unique experiences with two entirely unique stories that end up crisscrossing and combining in the end for a combined ending. Now, Oracle Seasons and Oracle of Ages were originally supposed to be part of a trilogy with a third game coming out that brings everything together to culminate in what would have been the ultimate in the Capcom trilogy. But for many reasons that I'm not going to get into right now, that third game didn't happen and instead Capcom's development team that was making Zelda games at that time turned its head towards the Minish Cap, which I think anyone who's played the Minish Cap can agree that was probably a good decision given how high quality the Minish Cap was. Uh, still is, really. Now, I, as much as I want these HD remakes, we also talked about how it's highly likely that Grezzo is HD remastering or remaking or doing whatever to Ocarina of Time 3D and Majora's Mask 3D. One, because they likely already have HD assets in the work. Two, they've already worked on those games. And three, we've already seen fans put it into HD. And uh, yeah, Grezzo is doing something for the Zelda anniversary. Now it's just a bunch of rumors about what. Uh, now, I don't actually think Oracle of Season Oracle of Ages are the games they're working on specifically because it'd be much easier for them to get Ocarina of Time 3D and Majora's Mask 3D into HD on Switch. And we know they've already ported 3DS games in Miitopia because they were the developers that brought that to Switch. So it just seems more likely they're going to move games they already have deep knowledge of and already created HD assets for over to Switch. It just logically makes sense and they could do it much quicker than they could rebuilding Oracle of Season Seasons and Oracle of Ages from the ground up. Still, that's not going to stop fans from wanting that to happen. And I think, while this is going to be a rather short video, I want to kind of shout out Game Over Jesse. Uh, he recently did a video on this as well, and he's going to dive much deeper into why he thinks this isn't happening. So go check him out. Link down in the description. I just want to sort of punctuate this by stating that Grezzo can't be making everything. They just can't. Uh... From rumors of them HD, Ocarina of Time 3D, uh, and Majora's Mask 3D, to rumors of them making a brand new game that they might actually be hiring for right now, maybe their HD and Triforce Heroes, to Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages. Yes, Grezzo's probably working on two or three Zelda games. That's probably factually happening, but they can't be working on five or six, and they're not going to give every single Zelda fan every remake they want. While they are Nintendo's go-to studio for remaking older games, hence Link's Awakening, um, like Triforce Heroes was a new game, but it was built off of the engine of A Link Between Worlds. Like They are that company they turn to. In the end, I don't think that that's it. And we can't dismiss that Grezzo might have been the company that HD'd Skyward Sword. I'd like to think Tantalus, the team that did Twilight Princess HD, was the same team that did Skyward Sword, but we don't actually know. We can't dismiss the fact Grezzo might be the ones behind Skyward Sword HD as well. Grezzo is a very talented company, and 
at this point is practically owned by Nintendo and is probably going to be the next company Nintendo purchases after their purchase of that Canadian studio behind Luigi's Mansion. But, uh, yeah, I honestly, well, Luigi's Mansion 3, I should clarify, they didn't create the original Luigi's Mansion, but anyways, uh, I think that there is something smart in the works here. I just don't know what. Uh, as for what rumors you should believe, again, personally, Ocarina of Time 3D and Majora's Mask 3D into HD for the 35th anniversary to me is still, to date, the most, like, biggest thing that you're going to see from them uh, anytime in the next 12 months. And I say next 12 months because I think Nintendo's going to celebrate the 35th anniversary all the way through March 31st of next year. Oh, and by the freaking way, we actually go more in depth on all of our expectations for the 35th anniversary, not just what Grizzle's making, but the entirety of Nintendo's plans in our latest episode of the Nintendo Prime Podcast, up here, um, go check it out. It's, dude, it's an amazing episode. Uh, we have some amazing guests. Uh, and you guys get to find out what Zelda actually means to me uh, in there. And uh, Zelda's a pretty big deal for me, hence why I'm putting out like a Zelda video every day. So thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, I'll catch you in one of my many next videos. I've got so many in more in editing now than at any time in the channel's history, Sans E3.